family, it's time for another video. Let's do it. Stay tuned. All right, family, so we are going to be discussing how to network with your friends to find your potential partner. So some of the things that I'm going to discuss with you is how to go about having these events. A lot of them will be fun events, and hopefully you guys can learn something from it. And we are starting right now. So one of the things that you can actually do while you are speaking with your friends and trying to get them to know that you are interested in meeting someone, you can have an actual get together, pull all of your close friends that you have, and then pretty much let them know. So instead of making it like a formal talk or anything, but just let them know they're all there, you guys are all laughing and joking, and then at some point um, in your gathering, let them know that, hey, hey guys, I'm actually looking for a guy. I'm really looking uh, to, you know, be in a relationship, be married, whatever, whatever it is that you're actually looking for. Make sure that you let them know and then give them some criteria so they can look for or even uh, they might have somebody in their own social circle that you do not know and they can potentially introduce you to that person. Okay, so let them know if you are, I mean, don't give me your whole list of what you're looking for, but let them, right. So give them some general information like if you're looking to have kids, if you want to get married, if you um, are looking for a specific religion, you want them to be a certain age or stuff like that. You want to give them something to work with so when they're out there and or thinking about the people in their particular social circles, they can have something to work with and see if you guys would match up. All right? So that's the very first thing. Have a gathering. Next thing that you could do is make sure that you guys are going to your office parties that they offer. Um, there's a lot of people at these office parties. There are a lot of single people that are off at these office parties. And you do have to be careful as far as work goes. However, you might go to somebody else's uh, office party for whatever reason. Maybe it's on the outside. They don't want to go along, so you go ahead and go with them. Make sure that you do not stick by the person's side that you are actually out mingling and talking to other people because you are there just to be as social as they are this will also heighten your chances of meeting someone are you going specifically to meet someone no you are going specifically to have fun and just put yourself out there in different settings to increase your chances of meeting someone so if somebody invites you to their particular office party don't turn it down go ahead and go you need to put yourself out there so People will know who you who you are, and specifically, if you are looking for someone when you're having these conversations, then then this is somebody else who can know that you are actually single, but are open to the idea of a relationship. All right, so go to the office parties. So another group of people that you can let know that you are interested in looking for a potential partner is your um, like church groups or um, something like that. Right, so. So your organizations that, relig that's what I'm trying to say, your religious organizations, okay? Let people that you actually talk to, you're in the uh, religious organizations, let some of those people in that, in that, in your circle, right? Let them know that you're also interested in finding a potential mate. They have to know. If they don't know, they can't help you out. You never know who knows who. That's right. That's right. They never know, do they? They never know? <laughs> The fourth suggestion, you guys have heard this more than one time, which is get out there and do what you love to do in these hobbies of yours. If you are out there in your hobbies, say, for instance, I always use hiking because hiking is fun and it's actually easy to talk about. Anywho, but in your hiking group, uh, you might have a girlfriend that you met there or even a guy friend that you met there. You're not attracted to the guy. Uh-uh, you're not attracted to the girl, whatever. But they may know someone, so let somebody know in your hobbies, obviously, that you are close with or that you feel close enough to at least let them into your world on this level let them know that you're interested in meeting a potential partner obviously it doesn't have to be them but then again who knows it might turn out to be them you never know if they're interested in you but put yourself out there i always say put yourself out there again you're not going specifically to meet anyone so you're not going like a little hungry hound looking to meet a potential person at uh, at your um, hobbies or whatever but again you are increasing your chances of meeting someone by getting out of the house getting out of your comfort zone getting out of your little box because most of us do the same thing over and over again what I mean by that most of us uh, we go to work we come home 
We travel the exact same way to work. We travel the exact same way back from work. Or if you have to pick up the children, like your routine is your routine. So you want to break up your routine and get out there, do something different, get out into your hobbies, have a lot of fun, and just put yourself out there in as many places as you can. I have already mentioned in one of my previous videos to sign up on meetup.com. And um, they have so many hobbies on there, so many things that you could be interested in. And, and meetup.com usually services most of the cities. So if you are in a medium to large city, more than likely they have meetup.com where you are at. And people have already been in those organizations and signing up. And you just got to put yourself out there. Only sign up for the ones that you know that you will attend because that is going to be the way that you start to get yourself out there, put yourself, um, get, get yourself out of your own comfort zone and just go for it. But at the same time, you are enjoying your life. So just keep that in mind. You're not specifically signing up to meet someone. However, the potential is there if you put yourself out there and go to these particular outings. So they have knitting. Man, any, you know what? I'm not even going to list what they have. Anything that you can think about is probably on meetup.com and in your city. Check it out. I've met so many great people. I've met a lot of my girlfriends at meetup.com. Um, I did When I was dating, I did date a couple of people um, from those various uh, hobbies that I was interested in which is why I know that it works, but was I going for that? No, I was going because I was new to a city and I wanted to get out of the house. So it all worked out. Go get involved in what you love to do. Doesn't matter what it is, this site probably has it. The final thing that I have for you guys is to, I just, I just released a video about online dating. So this one is specifically about online dating, but let one of your friends write a profile about you. If you are nervous about putting up your own profile, let one of your close friends who knows a lot about you or because we don't really like to talk about ourselves much. We don't really express who we are a lot unless you are narcissistic most of the time we're not sitting there like yeah i'm a boss or yeah i do this or yeah i do that but people on the outside specifically your close friend could write a really great profile about you and you'll be kind of amazed about what your friend is actually thinking about you so if you're bold enough it doesn't matter if you're not bold ask your friend to write a profile for you and definitely at least proofread yours because maybe you didn't Put your best you out there. You thought you did, but because you're being humble, you don't want to put all this stuff out there. Your friend is going to spruce up your profile, and that will increase your chances of you getting that many more clicks. Okay? All right, I have four more things that you have to keep in mind about your friends. So, <laughs> really? All right. All right, y'all. So keep in mind that, again, the way that you act around your friends is probably not the way that you're going to act around your first date with this potential person. So they can put all this great stuff out there. They can even tell the person that, um, you know what, she is good or he is great. And then the way that you act with them, because y'all chemistry have not been evolved yet with this new person, you're probably going to act a bit different doesn't have to be completely different, but you're probably going to be a little bit more reserved than you really are because this is your first time meeting them or you want to make a good impression or such and such, you know, introduce me to this person. I don't want to let them down. you got a whole bunch of things running in your head. So just keep that in mind. The second thing to keep in mind is that you more than likely have never dated your friend. So your friend does not know how you are on a date. Or how... Really? Yeah, really? She's really trying to be a part of this video. She is really trying to be a part of this video. All right, so number two, you have to remember that your friend and you have probably never been out on a date before. So again, your behavior will be different than the way that you act around your friend. They've never dated you, so just keep that in mind. Never dated your friend. So they might be like, you know, she's nice and bubbly and she has this great personality. And then when you get there, you're like, kind of like chill. You're on chill mode and he's thinking about the description that the friend gave him and so he's trying to put you in that light but you're like you're on chill mode so <laughs> your friend try to look out for you but you know so just try to be yourself as much as possible all right the third thing that you have to remember when you're dealing with your friend is that they have the best intentions they have the best intentions about you. They really mean the best. They really mean well. And so even if they have a poor comment about you or even the way that, like you're mentioning to them, uh, you know what, I'm looking for X, Y, and Z, however you want to word it, and then uh, they kind of say something that's poor, in poor taste, 
just know that they really do have the best, your best interests at heart. And they're really not trying to make you feel bad. They're not trying to put you down or anything. They just decided to <laughs> make a joke about whatever it is. Uh, and, and it kind of pulled at your heartstrings. But don't take it to heart. They did not mean any harm by that. They're just trying to get a better understanding. And, and this might be one of the first times that you guys have had a conversation like this. And so now they're... You are seeing, uh, or I'm sorry, they're seeing you in a different light and you're kind of being the vulnerable person. So don't take it personally if they start trying to make a joke about something or about time or finally you've been single for X, Y, and you know, don't don't take all of that to heart, okay? They don't, they don't mean nothing by it, all right? I'm taking up one right now. They don't mean nothing by that. All right, the last thing about your friend is that you have to remember that they think that you are already awesome. They just want to see you happy. So uh, just, just remember all of that stuff when you're talking to your friends. They mean the best. They mean well. I'm going to get on out of here because she's been trying to be a part of this video the entire time. Don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked the video like this. And, of course, hit the subscribe button if this is your very first time here. I'm going to see you guys later. Deuces.